everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Oh, today is our last day of school. <laughs> and Brooke is actually graduating tonight, so it's a good day. She, bless her heart, does not even want to. She's just so, that child has always, always hated school. She was the kid, I was the mom that you feel sorry for. I had Will on my hip in his sleepy suit taking her up to school, crying. I mean, screaming, crying, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. And then about third grade, she quit crying every morning. And then we had a bad middle school that she hated. And then high school has been better, but this last year, she has just been so over school. She just hates it. So I know all of you are gonna ask me where she going to college and everything. We are still thinking about all of her options. Um, as you know, I come from a family of entrepreneurs, and so I am not the mom that thinks everyone needs to go to college to be successful because I come from a family of very successful people, and I believe it. I, my personal belief is I want, you have to be driven, you have to do things that you love, and a good work ethic. That is the things that are important to me. But with that being said, there are several things that she may go to school for. So anyway, just wanted to get that out there because I've had a lot of people asking me about that. And I'm very proud of her. She is a very good girl. She is a whippersnapper, but when it comes to the big things that are important, she is just almost perfect. So anyway, and Will, oh bless his heart, he's, a, he's a, an angel. I went to their awards thing yesterday. Oh my God, it's painful. It was two hours long. And I know, you know, every parent is there for their child. So, you know, you clap for every child and they sat us, and usually we sit on chairs, but this time they sat us on the bleachers. And so I did not even see Will until he got his award. I could not figure out where he was because you couldn't, we were at their side and we couldn't see him. And he made the AB honor roll for the whole year. So he got that award. And then he also scored number one in his whole, the whole seventh grade for social studies. And um, he's very, very bright. And I've had people ask, question why he's 14 in seventh grade. And it's because I myself held him back in second grade. Um, and I had to really fight for that. I was really surprised the resistance they put up, but he was very immature, and I remembered with Brooke that they start that testing, and they get a lot more serious in third grade, and I just did not think he was ready. Now, he is still upset with me to this day about that. He would rather be in, you know, that grade, but I still think I would have made the same decision again. Now, could he have probably done it? Yes, because he is very brilliant. He has one of those minds if he reads or hears something, he retains it like forever. And he's very, he loves to research and he loves to read. And, I, but I just felt like he was immature, you know? So I don't know if you guys wanted to know all that, but I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm a very proud mom. And, oh, it's just the greatest joy of my life are those children. I mean, there is just nothing like it. So anyway, um, that is what I've been kind of doing this week is I have ordered some things and I've got some things to show you and I've run in a store too, but I've been doing teacher gifts, um, stuff like that. So, okay, I have got some sunglasses to show you, but I'm gonna do a separate sunglass haul video after this one so that if those of you that aren't interested or you think I'm ridiculous and I get too many sunglasses or whatever, you don't have to go through that. But I did get some other good things I wanna show you. First of all, Denise sent me this. She told me I had a package coming that she got something for um, both of us to take to the beach or to the pool or something, and she sent me this. And I love this. I mean, I love this in so many ways. It's one of those little things that I love the color. It's very, very Cajun shrimp. That's what I have on my nails now. I love, I'm so into the straw bags. 
I don't know if you guys remember the sack bags. I have my original sack bag that I bought when I was probably about 22 or three. I actually bought one for me and one for my mom and I had a little one that I used to use for going out and I had loaned it to a friend and never got it back, <laughs> back in those days. And I have it up in a box in John's closet and I'm gonna get him to take that down because I want to start using it again. I love straw bags and I think it a lot is because, you know, my mom was young when I was growing up. So when I was zero to 10, my mom was 20 to 30. And so I remember like all of, I remember her straw bags i remember her you know the shoes with the cork heels and all that just brings back and the a lot of my sunglasses i'm going to show you are very retro and my mom's always worn really stylish sunglasses and glasses because she doesn't wear contacts so she puts a lot of thought into her eyeglasses and usually she'll have a couple of pair and um so that's another thing is the straw bags really bring back good memories for me my mom was um she still is very pretty. Just so, I always compare her to like a flower or a kitten or just something that's so soft and just naturally pretty and pleasant. And that makes me think of a video I watched lately. It was Wayne Goss on, I'm not even sure of the title of the video. It was a catchy, clickbaity type title like how to be pretty or how to be sexy. And it was one of his best videos and I, want to do that video myself because I want to give you my take on it and then get, you know, make it one of those group chat type things. But um, to me, that is what a woman is, is soft, pretty, um, just, I just love all of that. You know, I think there's always a time for edgy and, you know, all black and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but still being um, just a smile, just a softness, a kindness about you. That is what my mom is. And um, so, and she was always dressed up. She was always like my grade mom in school. And I can remember all the kids saying, your mom's so pretty. Then I even remember one time her bringing, um, my brother is three and a half years or a little over three and a half years younger than me. And I remember her bringing him, you know, to a lot of those things. And um, you know, all the kids loving my little brother and stuff. Anyway, good memories. So thank you, Denise. I love it. It's a precious little, it even has a pocket in it. It's a little clutch and it's by Marisol. And I am going to use this like tonight, going to graduation. I will probably take this with me. Um, any, I'm gonna use it for going out. And if I, you know, we're going to the beach um, in a couple of weeks, we'll be staying down there for a week, if not more, probably a week. And um, I'm going to take that with me. So thank you so much. I really love this. And I thank you for the good vibes and the good memories and feelings to go with it. Okay. Along with getting ready for the beach, I ordered this. And I have not worn it or even tried it on. But it was incredibly inexpensive. And I ordered it from Amazon. And I'm not that crazy about the top. You can tell it's cheaply made because they didn't tack down the um, elastic. Hello, Bridget. What would you like? What? What would you like? <laughs> this time she cried to get back on the bed. And I was thinking this morning as I, Bubba was at the front door. So I opened the door to let him in like we do. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. We probably let him in and out 30 times a day. And of course they go in at night. And I opened the door to let him in and I thought, oh, I'm gonna water some of my flowers. So I w went to grab my watering can and I was holding the glass door open with my left foot and I could, oi, ow, I just kicked the table. And I was reaching for the watering can and I needed to let the door go. And I looked back and there he is, still like in the door. He was not gonna go in until I went back in. And if I go out, like I took, I don't know if you saw those pictures of him and I out in the grass and out by the flowers. He loves when I go outside. He gets, he turns into mush, like the biggest lover boy. And, but I was thinking, I was like, Bubba, go in. So I can, you know, I had to turn around, hold the door, tap him in gently and grab the watering can. And I was thinking, I have the neediest pets. They are so needy. 
Bridget doesn't like to drink water out of our watering bowl. She wants it freshly done in the shower. So do the cats. Both of my cats do not want to eat out of the bowl. They want you to take food out of the bowl and put it on the stairs. And I did buy a new cat bowl when I was researching why they do that. And I've knocked out every one of those things that could be. They're not eating out of plastic. I keep them full, you know, all the stuff. And I bought a new cat bowl and I think it's called the Whisker. I have a picture of it because I actually did a video with it, but um, it never saw the light of day like many don't. And um, so I will put a link to that because it's, um, they say one reason that cats don't like to eat out of their bowl is whisker fatigue. They don't like their whiskers bent back. And I really thought that might be it because my cats all have unique whiskers. Now Bubba, when I told Brooke that, she said, well, Bubba won't care because his whiskers already go back. He has whiskers like a, a mouse or something. You know, they kind of go back. And then Chanel is just, I don't know if I've ever seen a cat with whiskers like hers. I mean, they're just award-winning. Her eyebrows, her whiskers, everything are just phenomenal. And then Sassy has whiskers like, they're, I don't know how to describe it. They're kind of like, I think of like that little Mexican mouse, Tom and Jerry, Tom's cousin or something. Her whiskers do like this, almost like a mustache coming down and going like that. They're so cute. But um, they are so needy. So when they want to eat, which is all the time, they will stalk me and they will hide around the corner like in the kitchen and you'll see their little heads like looking around like that and then you'll even hear them going sk, 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 sk. and they run over to the, the stairs where their food is because I have to keep it on the stairs past the baby gate so Bridget won't eat it all and they just sit there. They, they'll have a full bowl of food but they want me to take it out and put it on the thing. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to put their food on a plate. That didn't work either. They still wanted me to take it out. So if you have experienced that, I think a, that might be a little bit of social eating. You know how some cats and dogs only eat when you're around? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just have the neediest pets ever. I mean, they're just hilarious. Bridget won't go down the stairs to potty unless you walk down with her. It's just, anyway, I'm sure you have some stories too. And I could have sworn I heard her crying, but maybe not. Okay, back to my bathing suit. Okay, I wanted one like this. I'm old school. I love the bathing suits that are cut up high on the hip. A good old Yolanda Foster bathing suit. This is, this was my thing when I was a teenager. We all wore the high cut, I mean, I wore some skimpy bathing suits. High cut bathing suits, but I've seen a lot of people wearing these that are high cut and high, you know, waisted. And I didn't want like a really, really retro one that was too, you know, I'm not ready for that yet. And um, so I bought this one. And um, I bought it, like I said, from Amazon. It's a medium made in China. And I will put the link down below. Uh, Brooke and I, when we were at the beach the other day, this lady and her husband walked by. And they walked by and I thought, oh, she just looks great. She had on a straw, like fedora, a bathing suit like this and I told Brooke we were laying on our stomachs and I said I should have asked her where she got that bathing suit well then they turned around and came back so I complimented her and she said she bought it from Venus so I ordered that one too she looked just like her body and everything she reminded me so much of Bethany Frankel that was the look she had it was just so put together and um, I really liked it so I had already ordered this one and then I came home and ordered that one that she had on Last Friday, I went to, D to Dior, and which reminds me, Invisalign, I have an update coming up soon. Went this week. Um, went to Dior to just exchange that Dior Forever foundation that I did not care for, but I bought this quad, and it's what I have on today, plus another shadow that I will tell you about later. I just could not stop. That's why my eyes are just so heavy today. They're probably too heavy. Um, Bridget's crying, hold on just a second. Okay, I just, when I looked in the viewfinder, I realized, there you go, I realized how heavy, ooh, I wanna show you something else I just got, hold on. Anyway, I bought this, it's the new Simple Human little hand mirror, cause I thought maybe this will be good when I'm doing tutorials. 
and it has, I've never used it, so bear with me. It has this thing, loop on the back, that you can either hold it or if you're out of town, you can set it up. And um, let's see, and it's three times magnif magnification, so it's not crazy. So I was thinking it would be good when I am doing a tutorial if I wanted to show you something. Now, what I was gonna show you is I just looked in the mirror and I realized I had way too much on the outer V and not enough in. So I grabbed my MAC Soft Brown and a Smashbox Blender brush and I'm going to kind of shade this in right here a little bit. And because I think it's just too much. Right, okay. That looks good to me, but on the camera, let me get a little bit more. You almost want to come from right here and shade that in. I was looking a little bit, almost like an alien because, yes, much better. See? Okay, so another thing that I was going to show you is this. I bought this from Dior. I exchanged the forever for it, and it's a new palette and it's called Attract. New to me, I don't know how new it is, but I just loved those bronzy tones and I am just kind of a sucker for a pink eyeshadow. I ended up using it right here and I don't even know if you can see it, but it almost adds that little bit of warmth that you need, even though that's not really a warm pink, it's a blue pink, but still, it is a good, just slight transitional shade and then I used the rest of them too. And then I'll go ahead and tell you, you might see a little bit of a blue, blue purpley tone. I used the, it's on the bottom left, I used that shadow out of my uh, Visart Cool Mattes. And that is because when you see my dress, there is a beautiful color like that in my dress. And I love it. That's one of my favorite colors is that deep, um, like my earrings are like that tanzanite. These are tanzanite and peridot earrings, like in white gold. John bought these for me years ago, before YouTube. And that's kind of the color that's in my dress. And it's like that purpley dark blue. And um, so that's why I put a little bit of that in my eyes. I was just feeling frisky today. So I bought that and then I bought this. I don't know if you've heard me mention that I have been kind of looking for a dark brown liquid liner, but I don't want one that is too ready brown or light. Um, and the best one I've ever found is Stila. And that sucker is hard to get off. I mean, it is just really hard to get off. But in hindsight, it's worth it. It's worth just getting. And I say that, that's because I use Bioderma. But if you use even the Bioderma, that the Biofacil type, the dual phase one, um, it will probably come off. But anyway, Dior had come out with some new, new mascaras and new liners and I bought the brown liquid liner and it's what I have on today and I really like it. So those are the things that I bought from Dior. I was pretty good that day. And then what I wanted to show you, okay, honorable mention, I have already just sang the praises of this. I've got this. I think the day of my last haul video, and I did a tutorial with it. Um, that was my last video. This stuff is amazing. And I, I just can't believe how much I love it. It is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have number three, which is light medium. Today I have it on underneath the Revlon, the one that I showed you that comes in the tube, the moussey one. But I did go up a shade. One of my subscribers told me if I wanted a warmer shade to go up to 310. And that's what I did. And I like it. And it probably looks good on camera just because it's more of a matte finish. But it doesn't look as pretty and glowy as that L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. That one looks really good with it. So it's such a good thing. This is so good to have to wear underneath our matte makeup. So this, I just feel really good that you will love it. Okay, I placed a MAC order, and the reason is I kind of wanted this lipstick that went with that last collection. It's called, my MAC was sold out of it, and it's called Nothing to Wear, and it's a good nude color. I actually put it on first, and then I was just 
wanting some color, so, but it's just kind of like a pinky, mauvey nude. But I just love, I think it must be a satin or a cream sheen. What is it? Cream sheen, what a good texture. MAC lipsticks are just, they're good. Okay, and then I think what really made me place the order is I went to see what they were discontinuing, and they are discontinuing the plush glass in Big Baby, which is a good, good lip gloss. It's a good, this is like one of the ones I would get for teacher gifts, or if I'm getting a friend something. It's just one of those good, everyday colors. Um, Tammy, this is one of her favorites. Big Baby and... There's another one that's really good. I can't remember. It's another warm tone. So I wanted to order this before they sold out of it. I ordered it. this because I remembered how much I loved my tan pigment. And they had, um, or not tan, I do love tan, but naked pigment. And I saw they had a naked dark and then a naked deep, I think. And so I bought this. I love pigments in the summertime. And so I haven't used it yet because I just got this yesterday. So I ordered that to try for just an all over lid color, you know, when I want to just kind of like I use Pebble and some of the other colors like that. And then I ordered this little lipstick. It was one that, um, why can I never remember her name, her YouTube name? It's the girl, I love her style videos. Anyway, she was saying how much she loved this video, this video, this lipstick, and we're different skin tones, but I still wanted to order it. And they had it in these little precious minis. So I ordered it and it is the matte lipstick in Mare. And I will put it beside the other one. And I love it. I think it's one of those like I always talk about like a good Rosie Huntington Whiteley lipstick where it's a color, but it's not like bright pink or fuchsia or red. So love it. And then I ordered two blushes. I ordered this one that I have on today and I love it. It's um, Peony Petal and it's a satin. And so that's the one that I have on today. And I love it. That color just makes me happy. And then I ordered this one and it's called Style. And it is more of an orangey um, color. And it's, see if I can put it back here because it's a lot orangier than it looked up here. That kind of washes it out. Um, but love those. In the summer, I do like to wear just a little bit more blush. Okay, and then uh, for the sample, I chose the Natural Radiance Base Lumiere Prep and Prime. Radiant Yellow. So, but, I almost forgot to tell you this. I wanted to really make sure I showed all this to you, even though I haven't tried it, because I got an email today that their website was 20% off. So I don't think it was just for me because I ordered, I think it was a thing. So I will put the link down below and hopefully that is for everything. Okay, I've been meaning to show you these, but I keep forgetting and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna swatch them or anything, but Girlactic sent me some of her, oh, try to put that there without it falling, glossy lids and sparkly lips. Now, I am not gonna go through and show you everything right now because I want to use these and maybe figure out my favorites. And um, let's see, this is one that, metallic shadow stick. But this is another look I like in the summertime. This kind of reminds me of Pixie Woo. You know how they always do the glossy um, lids? But like this one is, um, jewels and uh it's kind of like a white but look how pretty it is when you blend it out so i'm excited to try these and then i will tell you which ones i like the best so excited about those and doo -doo -doo -doo, two pair of shoes that you will love that i love and i think you will love so let me Rearrange, get settled, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and show you my dress, and I actually got this last week, and I didn't show it to you because I wanted to try it on before I showed it to you in case it was didn't fit, but it is from Revolve, and I'm not even sure the name of it, but when I saw it, I just loved it, and it's one of those that has like a slip dress underneath it, and then it comes with this layer, 
and I don't know if you can see the birds. And you know, I don't know if I've told you, I think it's like a hummingbird. My mom loves hummingbirds, plus my parents have birds that talk and meow and, do, and bark <laughs> and answer the phone. And what else do they do? They say, um, they say all the stuff that my mom says. It's, a, it's hilarious, my mom and dad. And um, so that is where I pulled the blue, the, that color, I love it. And here, let me back out. But I am going to probably wear um, my Stuart Weitzman nudist song with these tonight. But this is one of the pairs of shoes that I wanted to show you. I bought these, I think, either last year or year before for Brooke. And I didn't, I've always worn my Javianas, but she had been wearing these lately and I thought, I'm gonna get some of these. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stay right here so I don't have to move the camera. These are the next ones. And I put the link to these, um, I think last week or I don't know, recently I put the link to these and they have just been on my mind. And they come in black and they come in a flat version, like a gladiator that I think are so pretty. So I might get the black ones just in the flat version. But look at these. There are the brand Ash, which is a good brand. And they're kind of like, I guess, a knockoff of the Valentino, but I actually think I like them better because the studs are a little bit smaller. I like, and they just have a, a sturdiness to them. And Ash is still a good brand. Um, they still were, I think, right around $200, but they're just fabulous. And I'm so glad I chose this color. If you guys remember the Coach shoes that I bought last year with the studs, I wore, I wore those shoes, not last night, but night before last, out to dinner. I, wore, I wear those shoes so much and I wore the heck out of them. And I love wearing this color with black and red and yellow and all the colors of my dresses. And they also look great with jeans. I think this is such a, a good alternative to a wedge because it's that same, you know, carefree feel, but it's just a little bit more me. So I've got the other one on. I'm gonna put this one on and then show you them on. Hey, here they go. Oh, they just feel so good. They've got a good, nice, sturdy feeling and a good, you know, foot bed or like toe bed or you know what I mean, like the ball of the foot. And they're just so pretty. Okay, and for accessories, I've already shown you my earrings. My name necklace broke the other night when I was you know, it's gold, so I never take it off. And I was putting on one of my bralettes, like over my head, and it broke right where it attaches onto my name. So I've got it in my purse to see how much it will cost to repair it. And so I put on this. John bought this for me years ago when I used to watch Sex in the City. We both used to watch it on Sunday night. And I remember Brooke, she we'd, of course wouldn't let her watch it, so we'd put something on in my bedroom for her to watch, but she would love that intro music, and she'd come out here and dance, and it was just so cute, the best memories. And he bought this for me, and it's actually diamonds and white gold. So um, just a little something different, because um, I usually wear gold, but I'm gonna, I figured I'd try this today. And then um, this is actually rose gold, and it is the, rose that my parents gave me that has diamonds all in the petals and then a diamond in the middle and my nail polish is still cajun shrimp i didn't have time to change it last night and my fragrance i will probably wear arizona that's probably what i wear today that's been my go-to lately so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you have a wonderful weekend we are just ah, so excited around here because school's out the summer's here this is just our favorite time of year I just feel like we all year long just kind of wait for this time. So hope you are feeling the same and I will see you real soon and I'm getting ready to do my sunglass video right after this one. So if you want to see that, I will post that probably later on in the weekend. See you then. Bye-bye.